Okay, here's uh, a quick vid of uh, my pendulum setup with driving coils that I took out of some speakers. Uh, they were stock speakers from a Volkswagen GTI. Um, here's the old uh, the magnetic assembly. Uh, you can see the gap in there where the coil would ride. Uh, they're both 4 ohms, they're in series, and I have them driven by this amplifier down here. Um, I have the scope up here, and then I have my phone. It's Android with uh, an app called Cool Dual Channel Function Generator. It um, goes down to 1 millihertz with whatever somebody would need like that. I guess more for uh, the square wave function timing. But uh, we're right about 10 hertz. Um, let's get this rolling because my camera has a timer on it. So we hit this little button right here, and you can see this thing just about hitting the coils. Seems a little bit, might have knocked this out a little bit. This thing up here, it slides back and forth. I can center this. It's the base that holds these on. But you can see this thing is wobbling a little bit, like Tin Man showed on his video with his device. Um, what we got here is 8 volts peak to peak. These are the millihenries with the coil alone with mag stationary and with the magnet in the coil. Not much of a difference there. Um, 8 volts peak to peak. Uh, divide that by 2 for each phase times 0 0.707 we come up with 2.828 RMS voltage. Um, that divided by 8 ohms, 0.3535 amps, times that voltage again brings us to 0.999 watts. So it's taking 1 watt of power to make this thing shake like this. Let's see if we can get a view of all this. Now, you see the gap before it's hitting the bobbins. There's a loss in this table, in this piece moving here. So when I hold it down, I'm going to it starts hitting the bobbin. You can see that the plate is right there at the edge of the bobbin. Let's see if we can get that one. No good reflection there. And then when I let it go, the thing wobbles. Now if I put my finger under here, give it a little bit of teeter-totter action, it really starts shaking. Um, it can get it to where it's banging on the table. Let's see if I can get that action going on here. So now it's banging my table at 10 hertz. Um, so if we're messing with these, we got to eliminate these losses. We have to have solid bases that aren't going to move. Um, even me holding this down, there is still a slight vibration in the wall on this. So these tests could be done at uh, lighter, lower wattages, you know, and then you come up with some outcomes. Um, but this is very inefficient here. The way I have this, let me turn this off. Really cool little app. Um, produces a nice sine wave, I mean for this low frequency stuff, and going down to 0.001, uh, you know, on how you can tune this. Actually, this one goes down to the fourth decimal. So you can get really accurate with the tuning on this. Um, but this, this here, where the coil came out of, this magnet here, say it's north on this side, so this plate grabs up all that north, most of it, north field, and then this lower plate here, that silver plate is a, looks like a big washer with a hole in it, is this outside ring here. So by bringing those close together, the field is really concentrated around there. It's going across the coil, all around the coil. So that's, uh, it, the coil is soaked in magnetic flux at that point. Uh, very strong field, so it's very efficient compared to what we're doing here and this big balloon of flux out of this end and, and it has to be at right angles with the coil in order for it to you know, generate a, a current through it. So this all is very inefficient. If we can get this uh, involved with this project, 
uh, I think we can get it to be much more efficient. Now this, this doesn't have as much throw, plus this thing moves at an angle when I do this. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult to work, figure out, but I'm working on it. Um, so at one watt we got this thing really flying back and forth and making a lot of motion um, with some garbage speakers, basically. They're, I had to cut them out of the car so you can't, really can't install them anywhere. Um, put new ones in. And that's about it. And I have another video I want to do. I uh, want to talk about some more things further. Alright, thanks for watching.